So it's Ulster who get us going through Billy Burns, who's been away with Ireland, not getting any game time so far under Andy Farrell. Ala Davis at scrum half for the Ospreys. And the Ospreys just the one win this season in all competitions. That coming against the Italians, Benetton Treviso. Here goes Stuart McCluskey, six foot four inch scrum half. They are ha finding it so difficult to deal with McCluskey. His sheer physicality there took him through contact. The release of the ball to Balakoon and a straightforward finish for the right winger. But what power from McCluskey. They could not do anything at all about it. The Ospreys defence. Onto the front foot. Will they make the right decisions this time? That was probably the problem previously. Oh, what a pass! What a pass! Can they stretch and get there, the Ospreys? Absolutely magnificent there from Owen Watkins. He was buried under a whole pile of bodies. So off they go, steaming forward for the line. And a storm force drive in the grip of Storm Dennis. Again, it's well placed for him. And it's Bill Johnson to McCluskey, only has to gather. And our Ulster somehow going to escape from Swansea with a victory. Pouring rain all day. Alan Davis again. Yet another aerial bombardment. Alan Davis looks to pounce. And a penalty. It's a penalty to the Ospreys. And it's pretty adjacent to the posts. The ball is scooped back illegally. And that might be the moment that costs Ulster this game. Here's the story. At the Liberty Stadium with five minutes to go. Luke Price. Superb! Bill Johnson goes with the drop and goal. He's under too much pressure. That was never on. It was never on from there. And that is the final whistle. And the Ospreys, they showed such fight. They showed such determination throughout that game. And you have to applaud the Welsh region for that tremendous success.